Okay, this is a bottle breakup jar. Uh, I've done a few of these on the channel and I have been getting uh, a lot of questions with regards to can you do uh, something that doesn't involve a lot of oils and powders, and etc. Now, I do use a lot of bits and pieces uh, that I have at hand simply because I want to put everything I've got into the actual spell work. But you don't need to do that. All you need is your will. Uh, some sort of container and uh, obviously the names of the photographs whatever you have and you know get it rolling some vinegar obviously I'm going to do this and I will do it step by step and tell you uh, what you need I will be using other things but for you I will tell you if these things are optional or not if that makes sense also if you work with some sort of goddess god deity you know you're welcome to petition that actual spirit and uh, call them in and tell them that you will make their name known or you give them an offering just something uh, to show you mean it um, you would like their help even sit down uh, with the sigil if it's a spirit from the Goetia or whatever and uh, sit down with the seal and meditate on it a bit and explain just talk you know into yourself out loud and say what the problem is and how you would like to rectify it, that sort of thing. Okay, so this is the photographs of the two people I want to break up. Now, first of all, I need to place them back to back, back to back, because we do not want them facing each other. Okay, and always fold away from you. But uh, at the minute, what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm going to heat up a little pin, and uh, I don't want to show the photographs. I don't want to okay. I'm going to heat up a pin over a black candle, okay, just to get it nice and hot. And then what I do is I find a, I should have a breakup oil. This is a hate oil. One moment because this gets fiddly. So I'm going to place the little needle or pin or whatever it is into the oil. And I hate the pin because I want to uh, bring some negativity and I want to basically uh, heat the relationship up, in a, not in a good way. <laughs> and I put that through the two pictures. Okay, so what I'm going to do now also is pop in some cayenne powder. On over me as usual and a little bit of knotweed uh, knotweed is like I said before you don't need to use this uh, if you can get your hands on some chili powder or cayenne powder that is a good way to go I use knotweed because it stops people progressing uh, in life like in relationships that sort of thing but you know don't concern yourself about that uh, if anything, I would go with the actual cayenne powder and a little bit of sulfur, again, optional. Okay, and I'm going to turn that anti clockwise like so and fold away from me again just so I can get it into the actual jar. I use these black tablet bottles. I find they work really, really well because they're black. But if you don't have one of those, a jar, any kind of jar is fine. Oh, it's a bit tight. That's all the better because they'll feel suffocated. And... Oh. One second. Got it in. I didn't want you to hear me uh, grunting and stuff to get <laughs> so I was pushing that in. Okay, so I'm going to pop in some vinegar, and again, I like the black vinegar, brown vinegar, should I say, black vinegar isn't such a thing, uh, but I understand it's it's not available in every country, so go with whatever you have, just don't use those sweet vinegars like balsamic, put it to about here, white vinegar is perfect. God, it's okay. 
Now what I'm going to do is put in more uh, uh, cayenne. I put too much in actually. Put too much, it can explode. Um, <laughs> I've had the pleasure of this before and it ain't, it ain't a good idea. A little bit more sulfur. One second. Okay, uh, yeah, I put a bit too much in and I had to, uh, to get rid of a bit. So this is lemon juice. You could pop a bit again, not too much. Again, like I've said before, I can repeat myself. Excellent to start a relationship. If uh, you have two people and you want to start that relationship, get them to dislike each other and things to just go wrong. Vinegar and lemon juice. Again, easy to access. Uh, bits and pieces. You can find those in your local. Uh, you can find those in your local grocery store. I have a tendency to speak very quickly, so sorry. Excuse that. Uh, this is chili. Again, we want to bring the the tempers uh, to boiling point. So we need fiery things, uh, you know, fiery elements, and chili is excellent for that. Uh, we want communication to break down, so I'm going to put some block communication oil. I actually dabbed the photographs with that as well. I should have said that at the start. And I actually uh, dabbed the banish, uh, that banish oil on the photograph of the one we want rid of. Uh, black salt I'm looking for. Again, you don't need the black salt. Uh, I make a batch of black salt up. Uh, and it's for breakups black salt that's something I need to do a video on because black salt can also be used uh, for protection uh, just gonna put a little bit more sulfur in there so like I said you don't really need it but the more the merrier <laughs> uh, yeah I'll put some alum powder in it as well because alum powder uh, it's good to silence, if, if there's a lot of arguing and fighting going along, Alan Powder has a tendency to silence people and make people uh, just stop talking. So it's really good. So this is the black salt. Okay, just a tiny bit. Again, you don't need this. Uh, this is something I have at hand. I also have destruction powder. This is excellent powder. It really aids in breaking a relationship up. You don't need this. I'm just uh, using it because this is a client job. <clears throat> Again, I've said it before, I will do a video on how I make this. Uh, no. This is optional as well. <laughs> But uh, I always use this in my breakup jars, uh, and that is black cat and dog hair. Not the easiest of things to get. I'm actually running really low on cat hair, and I have no idea where I'm going to get it because um, I don't have any cats. Uh, I have a dog, but my dog, uh, I just wouldn't want to use my dog's hair in this working. Or for anything along those lines and anyway it's not my dog's not black <laughs> so anyway uh so again it's optional you know you don't really need to use it uh what is that it's my santa morte powder i can always use that i just have this at hand uh this came i don't even know it's not one of my powders that i make but uh, because it's a Santa Marte powder, I thought I'd just put it in there. Uh, let me see. It's a little breakup mix. Don't concern yourself about it either. So I have five or uh, seven needles and pins, etc. going in there. 
Okay. That's making a real bizarre noise. Right, okay. Now I'm going to put a layer of graveyard dirt on top of this because we want this to end. We want the relationship over. We want it to be dead. That is really the reason why I use graveyard dirt. So, okay. I will also clear my altar space when I finish this working. Uh, it will be washed down with a uh, Florida water and then it's cascarilla which is powdered eggshell uh, you know everything is cleaned always clean yourself after any kind of working breakup working it may not seem like a big deal but it's important to cleanse that aura you know even if you just step into the shower and visualize all the negativity coming off you or the bath or whatever put some sea salt in there something as simple as that you don't have to go out and buy bottles of Florida water and all you know if you just have salt or visualization techniques that is enough just visualize yourself being clean um what i do is i visualize my chakras uh you know becoming clean that sometimes i would do that or i would take a bath in salt water something as simple as salt water sometimes i mix camphor and powder and florida water that sort of thing in the bath uh sometimes i even use an egg I will do a video on how to do an egg cleansing. I'm sure there's many of those videos on the internet. Um, but it's something, it's worth doing, and it's worth looking into. Uh, I even do egg uh, cleansings on my dog. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I feel it, it takes negativity off, you know, any living being, you know. Right, moving on. I think we're near enough done. Uh, yeah, we're near enough done. As I said, uh, we'll pop a lid in this. I may put in a little bit. Sometimes I just open them uh, if I'm not quite finished with them. You need to give it a good shake. And when you're shaking it, visualize the two of them part in company. Go in their separate ways. Uh, the relationship is over. Time to move on. That's what you need to do because it's important to get in the right headspace when you're doing a breakup jar. Uh, I also... Uh, where is it? I was going to light this one second. So I just put a little black candle, they're little chime candles on top of that jar and I'll burn one of these down. Uh, I'm not sure what nights I will be working on this, but it will be work, worked on for quite a while and it will sit on the Holy Death's altar until it's time for deployment. Deployment will maybe be at either a crossroads or a, a cemetery. Because I called on the Santa Morte, it's highly likely it will be a cemetery. Uh, so yeah, all you really need for this working, just to recap, I'll move that to the side. All you really need for this spell is uh, the names or the photographs, uh, a pen or a nail to go through it. You could use uh, even the vinegar, dip it, the nail in the vinegar and just shove it through the pictures. Uh, some vinegar optional lemon juice lime juice uh you could use cayenne powder you know optional i would prefer to use the cayenne because i think it gets like i said the fire element going and you know arguing and stuff uh dog and cat hair is optional destruction powder is optional uh i know i'm saying all these things are optional but i find they work they make the spell stronger in my opinion but it can still be done uh you know um yeah i use black salt things like that but these are things i use and at the end of the day you don't really have to do what i say you can do it your way and see if it works for you but i petition a spirit uh to aid me to help me uh but, you know so if you work with if you you know i don't know some people work with the saints some people work with the goish yeah <clears throat> you know whatever floats your boat uh but Afterwards, please, please, please do your cleansing. And what I also say is to just forget, not forget, that's the wrong kind of word. Put the spell to the back of your mind and focus on everything. Just go about your day, focus about everything else and just forget about this. Put this to the back of your mind. Uh, when you're not using this, put this in a dark place. 
uh, a back of a cupboard in a dark space uh, if you're still working on it of course uh, uh, let me see what I was going to say yeah you could also cover it with a black cloth uh, it's all about the darkness and bringing this couple into the dark if you know what I mean so they will not get along they will fight and the bomb will break uh, so this couple haven't been together that long so that goes in their favour obviously but that's really it uh, so it's just to let you all know that yeah you can try these things yourself I will be doing more videos like this uh, but I prefer to do the video without it being a client video if you know what I mean I will just do the video with like you know if you can't get access to candles you know like tea lights even things that make the spell a lot simpler but it's important uh, most thing the most important thing is to detach a little bit I know it's a stress it's a worry when the person that you know the person that means something to you is with someone else but it's important to detach from the end result try your best to put it to the back of your mind so I have some healing work on the way uh, I thought I'd, I would put some healing work I haven't done that in a while and cleansings uh, work with Marbus and St Michael that's on the way soon if you're waiting on a video you'll get it very soon if I said this week uh, I'm running a little bit behind and I promise everything will be out next week I'm really really busy uh, so I'm not sure when this video will actually go out <laughs> uh, uh, yeah I will be with you very soon one moment okay so a bit of time has passed and I thought I'd pop on and Add a reading to this video before I send it to the client uh, so basically I'm uh, here to tell you that if you're waiting on a video like the message in the prior video that I will be doing my best to get everything out next week I'm a little behind so if I've promised you a video and you're still waiting for it uh, I'll get it out to you next week uh, yeah I've been I've been quite busy at this end and uh, if you're waiting on communication I will be going through the client base very very soon uh, these videos are very long I've, I've, I lament about this all the time on the channel these videos are really long uh, some people may just give you you know like five minutes of your, your spell video or a picture uh, I go to the extreme where I I send you you know a detailed uh, video and a reading and it, I'm a bit reluctant to actually stop doing this because I like doing this for people but it, it becomes uh, time consuming and then people get a bit impatient and that's the problem so please bear with me uh, if I promised you a video you'll get your video really soon uh, anyway just one second before I dish these cards out okay I wanted to give them a good shuffle it does take me quite a while to shuffle them uh, I'm just having a quick look for you uh, to see where things are at because a bit of time like I said has passed alrighty so there's a man involved in this situation which is baffling me it's maybe something I don't know about and it's just known to you kind of thing the man has an important role he sits a center card here and then I've got the house and the ring uh, that house may not be a house it could be a building of it could be a court it could be a hospital it could be something along those lines and that ring may not be uh, a ring as in commitment that could be a contract so it could be some sort of a work contract and that man may have uh, some sort of something to do with it if you know what I mean but you're going to have news and there's go there's regrets involved with regards to this situation uh, but you will hear news I think it will be favorable news but over here this is the bit that's throwing me a bit uh, it could be a house a school a police station think along those lines or yeah, it could be just a basic old house Maybe they've been talking about moving in together, but, but because they've been together only a few months, I don't think that's it, because this man has something to do with it. It's a bit strange, in all honesty. But like I said, uh, there's regrets, and you will hear something. Uh, yeah, yeah, everything is not as good as it seems there's the tower sitting beside the heart so there is issues in that relationship uh, 
I think something will come your way with regards to those storks are all about bringing something to you and there'll be a decision about travel the ship card that's travel or holidays I mean or is anyone traveling at the minute that's strange or it could be just a visit you could be traveling to visit someone uh, and some sort of decision will be made with regards to that I know that sounds very uh, run-of-the-mill and it probably doesn't resonate with you but I think it will down the line uh, I've said before a lot of clients uh, they don't seem to well not a lot of them a few of them don't uh, really uh, when I this I always say give me feedback on the reading and they would say uh, I'm not really sure about this I'm not really sure about that and then down the line a few months down the line they come back and they tell me uh, this is what this meant you know kind of thing you were right anyway these are oracle cards first one is oh right okay man holding a coin so that is us tuning into the man again and we've got contract that ring in that last deck of cards we could be indeed looking at a work situation but for some reason it's important sometimes other things show in love readings you just don't get the love reading you get everything ex extra <laughs> if you know what i mean it's not always about love you get every other aspect of your life door to value do you value yourself highly enough is the question you need to and then we've got rest and rejuvenation oh, i wish he'd stop blowing his nose sorry my partner is so loud when he blows his nose it really uh, that needs a spell in its own right <laughs> Anyway, rest and rejuvenation. You need to take it easy. Just slow down a little bit. And then we've got the healer of all, sorry, healer of the ages. I really like that card. And victory. Again, excellent card to have. So I do think things will, uh, with regards to the working, I think things are looking really good. I do think uh, Discord has seeped in. It does take a while for Discord to seep in, especially if it's a new relationship. But at the same time, it's got no foundation, which is uh, the perfect time to do a breakup. Some people leave breakups uh, until it's too late. Uh, and the couple have committed and they're in love and all that rubbish. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what I've got for you. Uh, if there's any questions you have with regards to the work in the reading, anything, get back to me for anyone that uh, wants to leave whatever you have in the comment section I will address it as soon as I can and like I said I'll be doing more of these videos that you know you require just a small amount of tools uh, I really want to go into a psychic seduction I really love psychic seduction uh, I'll recommend some books and things if you're into that sort of thing but psychic seduction is something that really really interests me uh, Sorry, I was getting stuff ready for a cleansing. Uh, there's jars everywhere. Yeah, psychic seduction, and it's a powerful tool to add into your spell work. Uh, you know, for love work, if you're trying to sway some, someone your direction, to double that up with psychic seduction and your little meditations where you see yourself all happy with the person. You know, that really is um, so effective. Uh, so I'm going to go down that route. And... Uh, yeah, I think it's interesting and I don't think a lot of people have really touched on that one. So, yeah, houseofmagic at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe and speak to you all very soon. Have a good day.